Today we're tackling a classic interview problem that tests your understanding of the sliding window technique. It's called permutation in string. Here's the problem. Given two lowercase strings S1 and S2, does S2 contain any substring that's a permutation of S1? A permutation means the characters can be in any order, but each character's frequency must match exactly. For example, if S1 is AB and S2 is E-I-D-B-A-O-O-O, the answer is true because S2 contains B-A, which is a permutation of A-B. The optimal solution uses a fixed size sliding window with frequency arrays. Since we're looking for a permutation of S1, our window size is fixed at S1's length. We use two arrays of size 26. The neat array tracks character frequencies in S1, and the window array tracks frequencies in our current window. Indices 0 through 25 correspond to letters A through Z. When these arrays match exactly, we've found a permutation. Let's walk through the example. S1 is AB with length 2, so our window size is 2. The neat array has 1 at positions A and B, zeros elsewhere. We start with window EI. The frequencies don't match, so we slide right. Window ID, still no match. Window DB. We have B, but missing A, no match. Finally, window BA gives us both A and B at frequency 1, matching the neat array exactly. Even though it's BA, not AB, it's a valid permutation. We return true. Throughout this process, the window size stays constant at 2, sliding step by step and comparing frequencies at each position. For the implementation, we use two arrays of size 26 to store character frequencies. We first scan S1 once to build the neat array. Then we slide a fixed length window over S2. Each time the right pointer moves, we add the new character into the window count. If the window becomes longer than S1, we move the left pointer and remove that character. At each step, we compare the window array with the neat array. If they are equal, we found a permutation and return true. If the scan finishes with no match, we return false. The time complexity is O of n, where n is the length of S2. Even though we compare two arrays of size 26 each time, 26 is a constant, so the overall complexity is still O of n. The space complexity is O of 1, since we only use two fixed-size frequency arrays.